Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Immigrant actress says she'll leave the U.S. and not just because she hates Trump. Oscar-winning actress Charlize Theron has been a citizen of our great nation for more than a decade. After leaving South Africa for a better life in America, now she's wanting out and nobody is stopping her. But she wants everyone to know why she's leaving and others should hightail it out of here too. Theron has identified what she feels is an imminent threat to humanity in this country and is more than just President Donald Trump, who she's definitely not a fan of. The successful actress has enjoyed all the perks of being an American citizen including an incredible career. More important than her acting chops are her two black children she's adopted. She doesn't feel that they are safe here in the U.S. and is at least talking about leaving, but like all other anti-Trump celebs, she probably won't make good on her announcement and actually leave. She just likes the attention of complaining about this country, this time citing a new reason. American News Central reports. Charlize Theron was born in South Africa during the time of apartheid. She knows what racism is like. Theron gained American citizenship just over a decade ago, however, she's not that proud of her country or her president. According to Charlize, she's considering leaving the United States because it's just too dang racist. Her two adopted black kids shouldn't have to live in such an evil country. She said this during an interview with far-left nutball Chelsea Handler. From Downtrend When Charlize Theron isn't making really dumb statement about gun control she apparently passes the time by making really dumb statements about race. The whitest person you've ever seen says there are parts of America that are so racist that she won't go there and worries that this racism may drive her from the country entirely. It should be noted that she is from South Africa where white people are killed for the color of their skin and white farmers are driven from their land by angry blacks. Theron sat down with her drunken leftist friend and equal foe of Trump's as she is, to commiserate over how awful they feel that America has become. This safe space interview is rich with leftist insanity. Chelsea Handler you're raising two children of color. Obviously, coming from South Africa, you know a lot about racial inequality, but what are your thoughts on Black Lives Matter in our current climate? Charlize Theron, being raised during the apartheid era in South Africa made me so hyper aware of equality and human rights. Of course, I have two black kids, but that was always something I was passionate about. I don't even know how to talk about the last year under our new administration. But racism is much more alive and well than people thought. We can't deny it anymore. We have to be vocal. There are places in this country where, if I got a job, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't travel with my kids to some parts of America, and that's really problematic. There are a lot of times when I look at my kids and I'm like, if this continues, I might have to, leave America. Because the last thing I want is for my children to feel unsafe. Theron's children are among the most privileged kids in America guarded by people protecting them and likely a security wall or fence around their home. Her children are not in any danger with Trump as the president who has done nothing to make the country more racist with him in office. The only people perpetuating racism in America are liberals like her who are lying to their children and telling them that America is a racist place. Instilling fear in little ones like this is what's really unsafe. If Theron wants to fix a racism issue, she should look at her home country and start there. That's where it really is dangerous, but she will just stay right here in America where it's safe and complain about Trump for attention. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.